हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्रॉस एप्लीकेशंस एंड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दैट वी आर कवरिंग द टॉपिक हाउ टू सेंड द मटेरियल्स फ्रॉम वन क्लाइंट ऑफ एसएपी सिस्टम टू अनदर क्लाइंट ऑफ एसएपी सिस्टम एंड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दैट वी फिनिश्ड विद द फर्स्ट फाइव स्टेप्स first three steps are totally totally done by the basis person creation of logical system assigning the clients to the logical system making rfc connections between the system so this is totally basis person responsibility then yes we will create the port we will create the partner profile and in the previous video we maintained the partner profile in the 100 client now same way we need to go for partner profile in 200 client also in 100 client yes for the 100 client 200 is outbound for the 200 client 100 is inbound this is what is the purpose of our requirement our source client is 100 our receiver client is 200 or our recipient client is 200 now same way in 200 client we will go for partner profile and yes in 200 100 will act as in bound so how we will do now i will go to 200 client now this is our 200 client if you do not have two sap clients that not a concern at all because when we started that topic i told you any data it can be materials it can be sales order yes anything whenever you want to send that data these are always always a set of static steps only message type i doc type these things will change depends upon what particular data you are sending now i will go for we20 transaction code in 200 client previously yes we maintained the partner profile in 100 client now we will go for partner profile in 200 client same way now i will go for logical system in 200 client i will click on to create button now in 200 client yes i have to go for i have to go for logical system of 100 client so what is the logical system of 100 client if you remember we gave a for h c l n t 100 in 100 client number you passed a for h c l n t 200 in 200 client we will pass a for h c l n t 100 now i will take the partner type as ls logical system now yes we need to pass the agent in case of any error that particular agent will be notified so i will simply take the user now i will choose the agent so i will take any agent id no problem suppose i will take m dash now i will go for save now this 100 this 100 is a inbound in 200 client this is inbound if you remember in 100 client we maintained 200 as outbound in case of 200 client this 100 will act as inbound inbound so i will simply simply click on to inbound now 
I will give the same to same message type. You all know for the material master, what is the message type? Math mass. Now I will come on to process code. And yes, when we covered the previous topics of uh, cross applications, at that time we put so much stress what is process code? A process code has the code. Yes, you all know a process code has the code which is ultimately used to process the IDOCs. And we have two types of process code. Inbound process code and outbound process code. If I will go to our particular slides, this is fully, fully explained in the previous topics. What is process code? Ultimately, a process code has a function module. In the function module, we have the code and that code is used to process the item. If you see, process code has the function module which is used for IDOC processing. And we have two types of process code, inbound process code and outbound process code. Without process code, nothing, because ultimately IDOC will process through process code only. Now, we need to give inbound process code. So I will simply, simply go to WE42 transaction code and we will see which process code SAP provided for the material master. Here, we need to provide the inbound process code. If I will scroll down and check by the description itself, you can predict, yes, this particular process code is for the material master. If I will scroll and I will go to M, a, B, C, D, if I will go to M. And you can see we have a process code M, A, T, M that is for material master data and SAP provided mat mass material master data. So we will simply, simply use this process code. I will save. And if you see, this process code, if I will double click, this process code has a function module. And in this function module, we have the logic which is used to process the IDOCs. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the sixth step in the receiver client. What is your receiver client? 200. In the receiver client, we maintained the partner profile for the sender client. And what is your sender client? 100. So we simply, simply went to WE20 transaction code in 200 client. And yes, we simply, simply pass that. If I will go to WE20 transaction code in 200 client, we choose the partner type logical system. We pass the logical system of 100 client. Yes. And we pass the our message type in inbound because for the 200, 100 is acting as a inbound. After that, we gave the process code inbound process code we went to WE42 transaction code and we saw that yes MAT MATM is a process code for the material master and we pass that process code. In the next video we will simply simply go for distribution model we will discuss what is the purpose of distribution model and how, how we can go for distribution model. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.